Welcome to this video on using SPSS to develop a logistic regression model. I'll be using the data from sp-quota.sav which you can download from the website. Also as usual I'll be working from the book and I'm on page 356. So once you open the file you should have the data view in front of you. And let's have a quick look at the variable view. So we can see that sp we've classified as nominal, distance as scale, snap as nominal, and quota as nominal. So they're all okay. And let's go back to data view. And let's run our analysis. So as usual, we go up to analyze, go down to regression. Now this time we're gonna pick binary regress regression, binary logistic regression, because we're gonna have two outputs. Either the sales will make targets or they don't and that's class as binary. So our dependent variable is going to be whether they make the quota. So we put that in our dependent variable box. We're then going to use our variables distance and um, whether they use snap. So let's put distance in first as a covariate. Then we click on next. Then we'll put in snap as a covariate. Now if you remember snap is going to be, um, it's not a scale variable, it's nominal. So we need to tell SPSS that this is going to be our categor categorical variable. So we move snap across to this box. And then we're done. So let's have a look at our options. What do we want to do? Let's put in goodness of fit test. And also we will have our confidence interval for our exponent view. And let's click continue. Okay, let's just double check, we're okay. And let's run our analysis. So this is a screen from the output viewer. Um, check that we've got all our cases taken into account got 30 but no missing cases that's fine and then we look at our categorical variable codings snap is classed as categorical which is good so now looking at the output what SPS does it creates a naive model or a baseline model and that only includes in this case um, our constant the quota so if we look down here, variables in the equation, we're using constant. We got various statistics there. I'm not going to go into these in depth. Um, if you go further back in the book on page 346, it will give you a, a more detailed explanation on the significance of these um, test statistics. We also check um, the variables not in our equation, so distance is not in there. So this is a very simple model and we can see that if we look here in the classification table but just using our baseline model it can um, classify correctly 60% of cases. And if we scroll down we have the next one, block one. And in this case um, statistics we're going to again look at the book, significant tests, let's keep scrolling down, look at our classification table and this time we can see by including our distance variable then our model will classify 70% of our input as correct. So that's an improvement on the last one, a very crude measure but gives us some idea. And then block two which is our final model which will include all of our variables. Let's go down through and we see that this time it classifies 83.3% of our um, data correctly. And you can see variables in the equation there that we're using distance and snap and we've got a constant so we've got all the details of our intercepts, the gradients, all the statistics and our confidence interval for exponent b. Now this is a very simple model, we only add a constant
false and two predictors. But when you do a, a real world model, I mean, as the book says, you could have thousands of predictors. The trick is to find which predictors have a significant impact on your model. Now, I always recommend that you run a pilot study. So you work with a similar group, similar sets of data, and that way you can work out which of your predictors is going to have a significant impact. Because the more data you collect, fundamentally it costs more money in both time and resources. And if you can get a model like this one, 83.3%, I know it's a you contrived know, model to a certain extent, but getting that extra 10% may cost a lot of money, it may involve maybe another 20 predictors. So you've got to ask the question, is it worth it?